Right, we've now got to the point where we've cleaned off the old stonework. There's a little bit left here. So I've put a little bit more of that kind of bleach solution on there. All we're doing is getting rid of the road dirt and the black spots. So once that's gone, then we can get to work on the cement pointing. This is basically the same as what we did up top over the winter. And you can probably make out there's a line between the two sections. Will's made to start down the bottom there and we're going to work our way up. We've got scaffold tower to go down there. Most of this we can get from work standing on the flat roof and a hop up. Uh, so we're going to get all the cement pointing out. Then we're going to rake it out and then we're going to get the lime. Right, so Will has done a good job of getting the work of the cement strapping, the pointing off. And we're now only about 10 mil deep, so we want to get in deeper, ready for the line. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to try using the needle scaler for that on a compressor. It's a small compressor, it's only 50, 50 litres, something like that. If it's too much, then we might just have to go back to doing by hand or using an SDS. But uh, let's see how we get on. It's the next day, we're moving on with progress on the stone wall. I'm also bringing around some type one to finish or start this path. This is the bit that goes along the workshop. What I'm thinking about doing is laying some of the sandstone sets because I've got a few hundred of them left from five years ago, as you do. But Will's giving me a hand today. So we set up the tower scaffold up there, just carrying on with the older, break out the cement, break it out and we're going to get pointing with the lime next week because it looks a little bit cold and miserable, which is perfect. So, so far, this is what we're looking like. We are back in 30 mil, 25, 30 mil, which is all we need, it's perfect. So what we're finding is the best thing to do is to break out the worst of it with the SDS. And then as soon as that's out and it's fairly deep, then with that needle scaler, you can get in all the really fine gaps that you couldn't get an SDS chisel in you can with the needle so you can clear out we'll get a really clean gap ready to point up so all of this is now looking a lot cleaner we'll be washing out all the joints dampening everything down next week before we point so i'm going to leave will doing that and then i'll jump back up there later on but for now i'm going to get on and get this sub base laid
So I'm going to see if I can sweep a bend around here. Here is where I poured some excess concrete out of the lorry when we did the slab. So I'm going to lay it on top of there. But I think we've got enough that we can carry it round. Oh, trip over. Carry it round here and then down. Now ordinarily, laying onto the type one is all you need to do. So this is probably a little bit thinner than where we did over there, but this is about 100 mil of type one, compacted, and that gives you a really good sub base. It's got a landscape fabric underneath it, so it should be nice and stable. We've put that concrete down. Like I said, it was just simply to use it up. When you've got a concrete, we had six cubic uh, yards of concrete, and we needed probably four for this slab, we used one for the path against the wall. We had like a little bit extra, so we just pulled it over onto there. The underneath there, it's the same as this. Along the workshop though, I hadn't really intended to go this route. So I've got a, just a normal timber in there as a bit of lawn edging. This was just gonna be gravel or bark, but we may as well use what we've got. And then when we go around the back here, I've just put in, cleared out this area, and put in the type one. There's a bit of sand spread out there. All this has got a membrane under it anyway. Um, but what we're going to do is just use this clean limestone. This is just a normal 10 mil chip and that's just a good way of just giving a simple base around here for storing things like the cement mixer, maybe a little shed in the future. Well, all the necessary but rather dull prep work is done and as you can see here, I've made a start on the path and possibly as you can hear, Will's the other side of the wall from my office finishing off that mortar chipping out so it won't be long before we can get started on the line pointing but the next video will most likely be getting this path installed sharing the whole process and some other tips along the way if you want to check out current progress you can head over to instagram or of course you can join us on patreon where they get sneak peeks uh, videos and hangouts on youtube and all sorts where they kind of get the uh, the first glimpse of what's going on here and if you want to do that you can follow the link down in our description but that's it for today any questions stick them down below but we'll leave it there thanks for watching remember if you can do it yourself and we'll see you next time